Okay, here's a tutorial on using the flex feature in Logic 9. Uh, this allows you to move uh, individual parts of audio inside of a region, um, allowing you to uh, quantize or snap uh, things to the grid. Uh, pretty cool feature. I've got this uh, great drum break um, that we're going to work on. Okay, so um, tune from, oh, I'm guessing 70s or 80s uh, with this great drum break up front. And we're going to go and uh, do a little work on this. So first of all, let's just go find a, a four beat uh, section of this drum break. All right, so we've got some pickups up front. We've got to be able to hear that first of all. And four eanda. And that's one right there. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's just do the second one here. Um, this is the first kick, and I'm going to cut it right to uh, this kick. So I'm going to use my uh, command click tool, which is my marquee tool. Set myself up in uh, sample mode here. Uh, let me refresh my mind here. So it's right here, command click, and just draw with my marquee, and I believe it was right there. And it was, okay, perfect. So that's four beats, one, two, three, four. Okay, when you click with your marquee tool, that crops this region and uh, cuts it out perfectly. That's exactly what I want. I'm just going to work on this for now. So I'm going to create another audio track below here. I can just double click below this audio track and that creates another audio track. Pretty handy. I will uh, go back into smart mode and uh, drag this down. And then I'm going to just mute and hide um, the original track here. So H and hide it. And we'll just be focusing on this now. Let's just go do a little more work in the sample editor. You just double click and uh, opens up in the sample editor. I did a pretty good job there, just using my eyes. Everything looks pretty good here. And on the back side, uh, maybe I could just bring this a little tighter. And we'll audition this right here. Uh, we'll put the loop on in the sample editor and then use the audition uh, pre-listen button here. The drummer's not playing um, exactly uh, on the beat, and that's fine. I mean, that gives music some uh, some feel. But uh, let's just experiment with some of the ways that we could really tighten this down. Okay, back out of the sample editor. I'm going to control option and zoom on this front end of the audio file. And actually even get rid of more of this air like that. Control option, click away. I'm going to set my locators and check this again. Okay, zoom in again and using us, I'm in smart mode here. I'm going to drop this right on bar three. And then once again, use this button, set locators. Zoom out again and let's take a listen. Okay, let's first try to determine what the BPM of this is. And there's a number of ways you can do it in Logic. Um, one of the easier ways is just go Options, Tempo, Adjust Tempo using Beat Detection. And Logic analyzes it and comes back and says it's uh, 85.1872. Do you want to set the uh, project tempo globally like that? And I'll say, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, if I look real close, I can see that, in fact, this is not showing one bar, it's so showing one bar and then a little bit more. That's going to cause a problem uh, if I loop this uh, loop out. Metronome may stay with us for a little while, uh, but if I turn on the loop and the metronome, we can just see as we get down the timeline here that it's already starting to drift. I think that's a case of the uh, loop itself, uh, the hits being just a little bit sloppy. 
Uh, we can fix that though, and here's, uh, here's how you do it. Uh, we'll notice here that we're at 16th note grid resolution um, in the uh, arrange area. And what that tells us is that each of these hash marks here represent a 16th note. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So 16 to complete an entire bar of music. We'll just listen to this. And just not quite on with the, the click, but we can uh, we can fix that. Uh, here's here's how you do that. So we'll use a, a flex mode here, turning on the flex button, and then choosing a slicing from this drop down list. We'll look at some of these other um, parameters as other tutorials come out. But slicing is what you want to use for a drum type track like this, and. Uh, Logic goes in and analyzes this uh, file, and these white lines are the transients that it has picked out as uh, the important parts of the beat. And it's done a pretty good job. But uh, we can go in and fine tune this. Now, for example, uh, if I'm hearing 16th notes in this pattern, I can see right here that this is off. That should be right on that hash mark, and we're actually a little bit over. I think this should be on that hash mark, and we're just a little bit over. So we can fix these things and uh, really get this uh, tight. Okay. Uh, having your pointer up in the upper part of the audio region gives you just the one flex marker. Uh, putting it down here in the middle, you get the three flex markers, which is what I want to use. This will allow me to slide individual... Uh, parts of this audio back and forth without disturbing what's going on on either side of it. So I click here on this hit and I'm going to just zoom in here again for you and I'm just going to pull this so it's over that hash mark perfectly placed. Okay, same thing on this. I'll just set another hash uh, flex marker on the other side, pull this and that looks good. And I'm just going to continue through this file, pulling each of these to that 16th note here, here, here. You could have tried quantizing this. Um, I find that to be kind of hit and miss. It's easy to just kind of go through and and grab this stuff like this and I'll just bring this back into this all the audio file. All right. Well, let's take a listen to this. Yeah. That sounds way better and really no artifacts to speak of. Pretty sure I could loop this out now and we will see further down the line here that this is spot on to the grid. Excellent. Just listen to it from bar 15. So the advantages to this is that now I can compose something within this context and uh, know that I'm, I've got the grid uh, on my side, so to speak. And go back to that uh, original drum loop and chop out um, uh, all the other loops and uh, really have uh, a cool thing to work with. So... There it is.